In this video, we're going to talk about subtracting decimals. Subtracting decimals is very similar to adding decimals, but with subtraction. First, let's use the same principles that we use when we subtract when we add decimals. Here we have that the problem 36 minus 7 and 3 tenths. Well, first off, think to yourself, what do you need to take the 7 away from? Do you need to take it away from the 6 or the 3? Well, since the 7 is in the 1's place, you need to take the 7 ones away from the 6 ones. So as we line up this problem, we have 36, and then we know we need to take the 7 ones away from the 6 ones. So we have to put the 7 underneath the 6, the 3 tenths off to the right. And to make the problem look better, we could always annex a 0 behind the 6 after we put a decimal because we need the 6 to be in the ones place. Let's go ahead and get our subtraction set up now. We have 36 and 0 tenths minus 7 and 3 tenths. Notice how our decimals lined up. Whenever you do subtraction, always make sure your decimals are lined up. Well, first we need to borrow because we can't take uh, 3 away from 0. So we borrow from the 6, make that 6 now 5 ones, and give 10 tenths to the tenths place because 10 tenths is 1. 10 minus 3 is 7. Decimal comes straight down. We have five ones, and we need to take seven ones away from it. Well, we can't do that. So we need to borrow from the three tens. The three tens becomes two tens. And we need to give ten ones to the ones place. So now we have fifteen ones. Fifteen ones minus seven would give you eight. And then two tens minus zero tens gives you two tens. So our answer is twenty-eight and seven tenths. Again, the problem is not too hard if you think about it in terms of its base 10 values. Let's come over here to our other problem now. We have 42 and 28 hundredths minus 1 and 52 hundredths. We'll think again how we need to line this up. Our 1, our 1 right here in the 1's place, we need to take that away from our 2 in the 1's place. Our 5 in the tenths place needs to be taken away from our 2 in the tenths place. And our 2 in the hundredths place needs to be taken away from our 8 in the hundredths place. Let's go ahead and line up our numbers to see how this works out. So we have 42 and 28 hundredths. And we need to take our 1 away from our 2 in our 1's place. So we need to put our 1 right here. We take our 5 and our tenths place from our 2 and our tenths place, so that goes right here. And our 2 and our hundredths place away from our 8 and our hundredths place, so that goes right here. Go ahead and do this. We have subtraction. So we have 8 hundredths minus 2 hundredths is 6 hundredths. We cannot take 5 tenths away from 2 tenths, so we need to borrow. So our two ones goes down to one one. Now we can give 10 tenths to our two tenths, making that 12 tenths. So 12 tenths minus five, that'd be seven tenths. Decimals come straight down. Our one one minus one one is zero ones. And then our four minus zero tens would be four tens. So we're left with 40 and 76 hundredths. Remember, subtraction is just the same as addition. We need to subtract the numbers. The only hard part may be borrowing, but just make sure that you are taking the correct place from the correct place. Remember, you have to subtract tenths from tenths, ones from ones, tens from tens, and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching my video on subtracting decimals.